my beautiful people! Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Olivia and, and I am a bikini competitor, online coach and bikini posing coach. And welcome back to another episode of the Level Up series. It is that time again. So I am coming at you from my car because to be honest, during the week this is the only free time that I have is when I'm driving, I eat when I drive, I call people when I drive, listen to podcasts when I drive, because I just don't have any free time. So this is what this video is actually about. I am going to kind of bring you through the rest of today and my day tomorrow and show you how I manage being a bodybuilder with a full-time job and also working on developing my own business as an online coach, as a posing coach. So there's a lot that goes on, you know, I train five times a week, I work, yeah, that is a tough one. I either work Monday to Friday or I work Friday to Friday, eight days in a row. That's been happening a lot lately, which leaves me with no free time. But how I go about it, I will show you today how I go about that. Um, today's Wednesday, it is the 9th of October, November, 9th of November, I believe. And so it's kind of midweek for me. I started working Sunday this week. I'm working through to Friday, so that's six days, which is not that bad compared to what I do sometimes. But it is kind of midweek for me and it is a rest day from the gym. So what I really make sure I try and do is take one rest day off the gym during the week so I can get things organized. You know, I meal prep twice a week usually, once at the weekend and then kind of midweek like today. Um, this is also where I schedule half of my client check-ins because I have time. So I'm just out of work, literally outside in the car and I have to go do a bit of grocery shopping. Then I have to sit down to my client check-ins and then the prep will begin because this is the most important part. How I manage bodybuilding with the full-time job is staying prepared. I have to make sure all my meals are prepped, all my clothes, my supplements, everything is just ready for me. So I get up in the morning, I do my cardio or whatever, I grab the things that I've prepped and off I go because I leave the house at 7 a.m. every day and I come back about 8 p.m. So yeah, I'm going to go to Aldi, go home, eat, client check-ins, meal prep, and then the day will probably be over and then I will carry this vlog into tomorrow and show you a bit of my working day, training day and all of that jazz. So I will see you in Aldi. So I have just come home. I look like a mess because it's so windy out there and I was literally outside for two seconds. But I needed a few things but it turned into a whole shop basically. So I needed some fresh fruit and veg because obviously that's something I can't just be buying once a week because it does go off. Normally I do a bigger shop at the weekend and then during the week I usually have to do one more top up like today. So I've got some protein sources chicken rashers, yogurt, eggs, the rest is just basically fruit, veg, some household stuff and normally I just eat chicken but I've been in the mood for some turkey so I got some turkey mince. Now I'm gonna put all of this away for later and I'm going to heat up my meal that I already prepped the night before, two nights before even I think this one was done. So I'm gonna throw this in the air fryer, put all of this away, and then get straight to work because I have, as I mentioned, I have half of my client check-ins to get through and I have to meal prep for the next few days and then do some other bits that I normally don't have time to do when I'm training after work. So let's get right on it. So that's my meal here put together. I've got some chicken, sweet potato, green beans with a bit of mozzarella and just season that with some of the Nando's Perry salt and straight to work so I have to get through a few client check-ins 
I've also got some new posing inquiries that I have to get back to and schedule some clients in for this weekend. So I better get to work. Got my coffee here as well that I made before work, before I left work. And yeah, as I mentioned, Pose with Olivia, that's what I've called my brand. Um, if you're interested in booking in a slot with me, um, there will be a link down below to my posing inquiry form. You can just fill it out and I'll be sure to get back to you. I do both in person and I do online as well for people that are a bit further away. kitchen as I mentioned check-ins are done all my posing girls are booked in for the weekend I've had my meal and I am ready so most importantly balancing bodybuilding and a full-time job and everything else that I mentioned earlier just requires a lot of prep staying prepared the main factor is obviously meal prep you know 80% of your success as they say which is true comes from your diet so I, being in an improvement phase and being very focused on making improvements in the gym, I need to make sure I'm eating right, I'm eating per meal plan, because I do have a meal plan for my coach that I just follow. He gives me set meals, amounts and everything, and I just follow that. Obviously, I'm not on prep anymore, so it is a little bit more flexible, so if I do feel like having something else any of the days, I can macro track it in. However, because I'm so busy, I don't have time to be experimenting and I just mainly follow the meal plan as it is. So first things first, meal prep for the next two days, two training days. I'll also prep some extra bits for Saturday because it is a day off but it's a very busy day with training, check-ins, posing clients and all of that. So I will prep my work meals for the next two days and I'll prep some extra like rice and chicken and things like that just to have on Saturday ready cooked and I can just put it together into a meal then. I will flip the screen now and I will show you my counter and show you what I'm doing here. So first things first, I usually just start with weighing everything out and getting everything set out and prepared on the counter before I actually start cooking it. So for my carb sources tomorrow, I'm mainly doing rice for my meal at work for my lunch meal um, I also have things like bagel thins and pre-workout I'm just doing caramel rice cakes so obviously I'm just going to grab that and pop it in my food bag in the morning so not much prep goes in there breakfast meals do take a bit more prep so I have weighed out here 150 ml of egg whites so as I mentioned I have two training days which means breakfast is the exact same it's eggs egg whites, turkey rashers or chicken rashers as I've been doing and um, veg with a bagel thin so what I'm going to do is I'm literally going to throw it all in there mix it up, pop it into a pan and then just once it's cooked weigh it, divide it into, put it in two boxes and that is that meal made along with my rice meals I have chicken so the interesting part this is what I do with my chicken now my boyfriend is actually doing the exact same thing right now in the oven so I can show you but basically I just I get a whole big tray of chicken or two so anywhere from two to even four kilos and then I just season it pop it in the oven for about 45 minutes covered then I take off the cover in for another 15 so an hour total and that is my chicken baked. Then what I do is I, so I always make sure I know how much raw chicken is weighed out in, in the oven. And then once it's cooked, I just weigh it again, do all the maths and I portion it into bags of, I usually do about 400 grams, depending how much comes out, 400 grams. I bag it up, I label it and I actually put it into the freezer cooked. So then during the week I can every two three days I can just take out a bag defrost it and then I usually just 
pop some seasoning on it, pop it in the air fryer and it's literally good to go. Because if I was buying chicken every single day or every second day and cooking it from scratch, it would take me it would take me a while. So this literally takes a five minutes. I pop it out of the fridge the night before, pop it in the air fryer, and that is that. So as I mentioned, I label it with the weight that was cooked that wasn't cooked so that is the raw weight so, so that is pretty much it here so we've got my rice and chicken meal which I usually pair with some green beans I usually just buy frozen um, for ease and pop boiling water over them with some salt pop it in the microwave for 15 minutes and that is that sometimes I even do that in the morning when I'm doing my cardio I just pop this in the microwave and it's cooking while I'm doing other things. So I'm going to put these meals together now, show you a few clips here and there, and then show you the finished product. Got a companion from the gym my dad hello hello <laughs> yeah so while everything is cooking on the hob my chicken rashers are in the air fryer I can start prepping other little bits that require like less cooking and all that so I start with laying out all the boxes that I know I'll need so the two black boxes I always use for my rice um, chicken and beans then this will be my breakfast for two days here I'm going to put in my pre-workout chicken. My meal pre-workout is supposed to be cream of rice with whey and berries and things like that. Banana, sorry, banana actually. But I don't really have time to be doing that because I eat, as you'll see tomorrow, I eat on the way to the gym in the car. So what I do is I do caramel rice cakes instead of whey because I don't want to shake or I don't have time to be making paste. So what I do is I eat chicken, literally just eat on my hands or put it on the rice cake with a banana and then yeah that's pretty much it for like the meals I really have to prep one more thing that I do which I'll show you is my post workout which is oats so what I do is I always soak them the night before so I weigh them out I pour boiling water over them and I just leave them be on the counter until the next day why I soak my oats that is the question um because I love them fluffy and that makes them really fluffy when you add in the weight and then just pop them in the microwave but also it makes it a lot easier to digest and I tend to have an issue with certain foods um, and I find that oats don't cause any trouble if I soak them the night before or it doesn't even have to be the night before it can be two hours I'd say would be a good time to do it two hours before eating but I just do it the night before works well and they just sit very with my stomach and they're my favorite meal of the day so I refuse to give them up so I'm gonna keep putting everything together, show you clips here and there. for work for the next two days I have got my breakfast for the next two days my pre-workout chicken which as I said I'm just gonna pair with some caramel rice cakes banana and nut butter so that can be weighed out on the fly same here nut butter into this meal on the fly now once this cools down either tonight or tomorrow morning I'm just going to add some like cherry tomatoes things like that I've got some extra rice prepped for Saturday and that is literally it. My other meals are very simple. As I've said, normally I do this every two to three days and it takes me half an hour to 45 minutes with all of the dishes I have to do. I get up in the morning, I pack my meals and off I go. I don't have to worry that I'm going to go off track, off plan. So to all my people out there that say they don't have time to eat healthy, look at this. I mean, it takes me half an hour every few days and 
you know the meals aren't very boring there is a lot of variety you can add so much variety to your meals this way as well like prepping different veg different carb sources you know it literally takes the same amount of time I do this because I just stick to the same foods every day because I know they sit well in my stomach. As I mentioned before, my stomach is very sensitive. And I'm truly enjoying these meals. I love my rice and nut butter. I love my bagel thins. I love my sweet potatoes. I love my oats and my caramel rice cakes and my cream rice. So there is no need to overcomplicate it. And yeah, literally half an hour. That's it. As I mentioned, I leave the house about 7 a.m. every day. I finish work 3 or half 4, depending on my shift. And then I am off straight to the gym, probably a little top-up shop here and there if needed. And I am home about half 7, 8 p.m., where I still have to shower. I have to eat two meals, prep some bits. It really leaves me with no time. This is why I have to have all of this prepped and ready for me. Even things like my chicken that I've showed you that I cook and freeze in batch. So, you know, it takes me 15 minutes to prep it. An hour in the oven, obviously don't have to mind it. And then it's, I usually prep it for a week or even two in advance, so it's easy. So, now that meal prep is done, I have to go upstairs and get ready for the day in general. I have to pack my gym bag, my work bag, my clothes. I have to lay everything out for my check-in in the morning because I'll be checking in which you will see, I will do a little physique update. So yeah, literally then, in the morning, I just get up, I check in, I do my cardio, and everything is just there, laid out for me, because I'm half asleep in the morning, I don't have the brain capacity to think, I don't have the time, so I literally get up, everything is there, grab, go. I hope this was helpful, and if you made it this far in the video, please leave it a like, and a comment and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any future videos and it would honestly really mean the world to me i do hope you're enjoying my videos and i hope some people have noticed the change in quality of them because i have just spent nearly a grand on this new camera um but it was totally worth it the videos i feel like the quality is just so much better now i'm still getting used to it but just giving me a little like would show me that this was actually worth it. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, thank you for making it this far and I hope you enjoy the rest of the video as well and I will chat to you very soon. So in order to get organized, first you have to make a mess. That is mandatory. I am checking in first thing in the morning. So I've got my tripod, my heels, my ring light and my bikini all laid out so I just walk into my room and it's right there in front of me. I pop the heels on, I pop the bikini on, put my phone in the tripod, take pictures and carry on. Clothes for the gym laid out here so I'm not sure what I'll be wearing exactly because I never know what I'm gonna feel like on the day after meals and everything. So I always pack like two outfits for the gym and decide when I get there. And then we'll see how bloated I am. I either, and how cold it is in the gym. I have either got a gasp tank or a big gasp oversized t-shirt. Now, if you want to use my code and get yourself a little discount, use the code gasp15 on the GASP website and you'll get a nice cheeky little discount. Now I'm not sure but I think their Black Friday sale might still be on. So with that code you'll get an additional 15% on top of the sales they already have. Then I've got my pink belt, got my beats, um, I've got some other little bits already in the bag like straps and wraps and all that jazz that never really leaves the gym bag in the first place. So got my training logbook from my friend Emer. she's a personal trainer. Future plan that I will actually share with you, I am planning on bringing out my own logbooks maybe in January. That is something that I'm thinking of working on during Christmas because I do have some time off work. Um, so if I'm not too busy with other things, I was hoping to sit down and maybe create a rough plan, maybe a template of a training logbook. Because honestly, I really struggle 
with finding a training log book that really suits me and half the time I buy an empty notebook and I make it myself so I thought maybe that is something that would would be a great idea to bring on my own log books but for now I'm using this one I'm just gonna pack it into my big built for athletes bag which I love so yeah team gasp I'm also team a better bodies at code BB15 if you want a discount there too and I have got my trusty, valuable Arnold badge from when I competed at the Arnolds. I have also got a shaker that I always have. This is from My Core Supplements, which I have also actually started working with. So if you go on the mycoresupplements.ie website ooh, and just use my code Olivia, which I will pop on the screen, you'll get yourself a 10% discount on all their supplements, which I genuinely do recommend. I have been buying from them from the beginning of my competing journey. Their products are amazing. They have never failed me, especially around Ireland, next day delivery, honestly amazing. But yeah, I have this little shaker from them and I usually just pop my EAAs, um, my essential amino acids that I drink during training into the bottom there. And then when I get to the gym, I just fill it up pop it in the shaker and I'm ready to train. So I'm gonna pack all this up now and get on with the rest of the evening because I still have a lot to do. Please excuse the state of me but I have just been sat here for the last two hours editing and now I've got my last meal. I'm gonna finish editing, head to bed and then I will see you in the morning. Got my beautiful rest day final meal of the day which is probably the best meal of the week. We've got 80 grams of oats, fruit, nut butter, dark chocolate, biscoff, and I'm just sat here editing. And yeah, I've got Bay here beside me with his <laughs> creation. Looks better than yours. Um, but yeah, we're gonna eat our oats and I'm gonna finish this and I will see you in the morning for a very eventful day. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go. Go, 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 go. Hustle loud, hustle every single day I'll be making moves till I'm buried in my grave uh, To the system, I don't wanna be a slave I've been doing shit my way, uh, or the highway And in the driveway, is a nice range Cause I grind through the climb, I invite pain You'll never hear me, bitch, nah, I don't complain Just gotta flip the switch and you can go and obtain Anything you want, anything you need Your mind's got the key ingredient, it's belief uh, Better see with the negativity but I just slide right by that energy Even when you feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answered a no, man, I still go Go, 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 go Good morning YouTube! Welcome! It's another day! I'm gonna keep this short and sweet because no matter what time I get up, I always end up with like no time before I leave the house. So, you've seen this morning, I have checked in, I've done a little physique update. Um, I'm gonna say I'm not very happy with today's check-in to be honest. Um, I was up editing very late last night and I had my last meal very late and my stomach is just in bits this morning. The my digestion is kind of bad but anyway I've sent my check in to my coach I let him deal with it you know that's what I do I check in I send him the data and then I let him work off that and just do what I'm told I have gotten ready for the day and I've got my bags packed as you've seen seen last night so I just need to go downstairs grab the meals that I've prepped take some supplements and go to work and everything is just there and ready for me to grab and leave the house. Um, now I know many of you would say um, why do you put on a face of makeup then if you've no time? Um, simple, every single morning I need 
that bit of me time, that bit of chill time. It is the only quiet time that I have in a day because the rest of the day is just so busy, you know. Obviously eight hours at work, crazy busy, straight to the gym, which has been mad. And then I come home and it's about getting ready for the next day. So taking those 20, 25, even half an hour um, in the morning just to be with myself, watch a YouTube video, drink my coffee, put on some makeup, it really sets me up for the day. You know, sometimes if I have some extra time, I might even take that time to maybe journal or read or just plan out my day really, which is actually what I'm going to do when I get to work today because I start a bit later, meaning the traffic is crazy. So I actually have to leave like an hour before I start my shift to be there about for about 20 minutes to the time that I start. So I usually just take those 20 minutes as well to have another coffee, plan out my day, maybe write out my training if I haven't, and then get straight to work. So yeah, since all my meals are prepped, it was literally a matter of just chucking everything into my huge food bag. I've got like four meals in there. I just need to pack my food scales, my supplements for the day, just some vitamins, stuff like that. Next time you'll see me, I'll probably be in the car, either stuck in traffic or arrived at work. So you ask how I manage bodybuilding, a full-time job, training, work and everything. This is how I leave the house every single morning. Got my gym bag, got my food for what looks like a week, but it's not even a whole day. And my actual handbag. Good thing I drive. But anyway, I'm late. So I will see you at work. Bye. As predicted, the traffic is terrible. It'll probably take me about 40 minutes to get to work, but it's okay. I've got my podcast on. I've got my heated seats on. I've just pulled up to work. I need a minute because I really don't want to go in there. You know, if, um, if you don't know, I'm not the biggest fan of my job if I'm being honest, but it lets me bodybuild and it's temporary, you know? That's what I keep telling myself. Yeah, the girls don't know I'm filming today, so let's go in and surprise them. Say hello, YouTube. Hi, YouTube. We love Olivia. Say that again. We love Olivia. Hello. So it is way too loud, so voiceover, but I'm just having my first meal here, yogurt, some berries. I've got Jacob's rice cakes and nut butter. I've got my salted caramel and smooth. And I'm just gonna put this together along with some planning and budgeting and diary writing and all of that jazz. So yeah. <music> busy so I haven't been able to film in there last time you saw me was my lunch um, which is actually surprising that I even got a lunch because half the time I get like 15 minutes and I don't even get to sit down for the 15 minutes I'm literally up and down helping the girls working because there's not enough of us but whenever I get a minute or 30 seconds I hop out into the car park for a break I actually mentioned I am a barista and a lead, lead barista, lead waitress at a cafe. Um, so this is where I work full time for now. Pays for my bodybuilding expenses. 
yeah, and I'm, I'm not very happy here, but hopefully within the next few months, a lot of things change, a lot of changes coming my way, hopefully, where is the light? Um, I'm definitely going to do a sit down video about that, just explaining my plans for the future, competing plans, career plans and everything, but right now I need to get back to work. So oh, it is just after 4 o'clock and I have closed the place today. I usually let everybody go and close in peace myself even though it's more work for me but I just like being here alone at the end. Cleaned everything for tomorrow. I'm opening tomorrow so I know exactly what I'm coming to. I literally lay everything out the way it's supposed to be so I just come in here in the morning and open and that is, that's it. I'm just prepping my pre-workout, nice and simple rice, caramel rice cakes, banana, chicken, nut butter. Now my plan does say a big bowl of cream of rice which honestly I would kill to have every day before training but I have to go straight to the gym from here. It is nearly half four. By the time I get to the gym it'll probably be after five with the traffic these days. So I just need something a bit quicker because I eat it on the way in the car which you'll probably see. So I need something that will digest that bit quicker. But I am looking forward to the weekend when I get a day off and I can actually have a big bowl of cream of rice. But today is not the day. So I'm going to pack all this up in the car and off to the gym. So as I mentioned, this is my pre-workout setup. Perks of being a barista is definitely the coffee on top. Um, in the car, engine running. I've got my first rice cake that I usually just sit down for a few minutes in the car and eat. And then I snack on the rest of them while I drive so that is that is how I go about it really most of my meals are eaten like this you know you've seen me had my first meal and my second meal at work um, the third meal I literally just eat while I work I pick out of Tupperware and then this one I eat on the way to the gym so that's really this is why when a day off work comes and I get to enjoy hot food at home on a plate not at a Tupperware it's why it means so much to me because every single day I'm eating on the go, I'm eating in a rush. So let's eat the first bite of this together. Mm. I'm in my hair. So yeah, I'm gonna eat, drive. And we are hitting glutes today, so I will take you through my session, show you a few clips. And then I will probably outro the video on my post-workout meal. And yeah, so I will see you in the next clip, which will be at the gym. And sorry, someone nearly just crashed into me, I swear to God. Of course, there's traffic. But at least it lets me digest my rice cake. I wonder what the rules are about filming and driving. I guess we'll find out. Welcome to Galway traffic. I'm really dreading the Christmas market opening next week because I know the traffic is going to be twice as bad. And red. <laughs> Why me? Into training clips. In my head, I fear that the thoughts build up until I can't hear. That my mind fills up into a creature, and it haunts me somewhere much deeper. Anxiety filling up every space, no privacy. And silently, it could build and build until you finally see. Whoa, it's taking over. Damn, no closure. Moving closer. No exposure, I just wanna be a loner uh, Some can't stay sober, looking over all their shoulders Like moving boulders just to get out of the home It sucks, I've had enough, I don't wanna feel the stuck Under the rug, all my problems that I shove
Thoughts build up until I can't hear That my mind fills up into a creature And it haunts me somewhere much deeper I've been feeling weird, I can't seem to focus good enough Nothing's really clear, sometimes it could be a little tough I just need to feel like the end's in sight for me But let's be really real, anxiety can foggy all this stuff I've been feeling weird, I can't seem to focus good enough Nothing's really clear, sometimes it could be a little tough I just need to feel like the end's in sight for me But let's be really real, anxiety can foggy Yo. all this stuff it sucks when you finally feel like giving up Oh God, no luck Everything feels like you're sticky stuck I'm lost, handcuffed To the bed where I sleep, don't give a fuck Can't stop, unplug Feeling overwhelmed, I think I've had enough uh, Gotta find a way to get some energy Gotta find someone who's a good friend of me I need purpose to make it all worth it I'm still searching and I'm still learning I want a life that's filled with memories Not a life with regret in front of me I need focus to keep me from hopeless Psychosis if I keep moping I got nightmares in my head, I feel that the thoughts build up until I can't hear That my mind fills up into a creature And it haunts me somewhere much deeper I got nightmares in my head, I fear That the thoughts build up until I can't hear That my mind fills up into a creature And it haunts me somewhere much deeper I've been feeling weird, I can't seem to focus good enough Nothing's really clear, sometimes it could be a little tough I just need to feel like the end's in sight for me But let's be really real, anxiety can foggy all this stuff I've been feeling weird, I can't seem to focus good enough Nothing's really clear, sometimes it could be a little tough I just need to feel like the end's in sight for me But let's be really real, anxiety can foggy all this stuff Till I can't hear that my mind fills up into a creature And it haunts me somewhere much deeper Anxiety, filling up every space, no privacy uh, And silently, it could build and build until you finally see Whoa, it's taking over, damn no closure, moving closer No exposure, I just wanna be a loner uh, Some can't stay sober, looking over all their shoulders Like moving boulders Training is done Wow, what a session. I think this is the hardest session of, of the week. Glutes, you know, from drop set of my first exercise to my heavy compounds to supersets, walking lunges. The intracarbs definitely did their thing as well. You know, I was really, really against them because it's just something I've never done. And up until last week, I was still very hungry, so I thought it was kind of a waste of calories, wasting 25 grams of carbs on jellies during training. But I honestly don't think I would have performed. Obviously, I would have pushed through the session, but I just don't think I would have performed as well as I actually did today without them. It was an amazing session. Um, exhausting. It is time to go home, eat my big bowl of oats, and get ready for tomorrow. Well, I will see you at home. We are back from the gym, and we both train legs today. The only difference is that John trains them once a week, I train them four times a week. And I'm dead. So am I. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're gonna eat now. The one meal we get to enjoy every day together. And actually I got an update from my coach today and I had an increase in food which I will talk about in another video I want to do a video on just like explaining my protocols Since I'm the improvement phase now and food has gone up a lot and I am feeling a bit anxious about it and I've actually been very full in the last few days so an increase in food did kind of scare me but anyway so I will show you my post-workout meal and then I will chat to you before I finish the video, do a little summary of everything that was happening over the last two days. Um, so yeah, I will see you in the next clip. Awesome. And this is why this meal is the best of them all. We get biscuits now. This used to be such a trigger food for me, so the fact that I'm actually implementing it into my meal plan now freely is just crazy. We've also got a visitor in the house today. Hello. 
So I've got my beautiful bowl of oats with Biscoff, nut butter. John has his cream of rice. And so this is the cream of rice he's using. Chocolate banana flavor from Complete Strength, which is actually amazing. I've had it before. We both got Rule One Way in the flavor Lightly Salt Caramel, which is one of our favorites. And then what I also get with this meal is a squares bar. Now hear me out on this. It has to be one that has like little chocolate bits in it because I actually put them into my oats. But I'm very indecisive as to what flavor I always want. So since John gets two squares bars, I give him half of mine and I get half of his. So today we've got caramel. Okay. We've got caramel. And I've got my cookie one with the missing chocolate because it's in my oats. It's Who my, does this? My guilty pleasure. Who does that? Why would you ruin your squares bar? It makes it better. Then there's me savoring every single bite <laughs> of mine. Carbs on carbs on carbs. Mm -hmm. How many calories? So I'm just sat here with my best friend. So to hey. anybody that doesn't know, this is Ozzy. Ozzy has been my best friend since I'm 12 years old. Ozzy, say hello. <laughs> Who's this? It's YouTube. It's our friends. Friend. Don't mind John there in the background. Anyway, I thought I'd outro this video here. I really hope you enjoyed accompanying me over the last two days and just seeing how I manage being a bodybuilder with a full-time job and also building a little empire as an online coach and posing coach. So to summarize this, the main question of the video was how I manage bodybuilding and work and everything. Um, as you see, it requires a lot of prep. You just, you have to be prepared. You have to have everything prepped in advance, really. They're, you know, doing things on the fly, simple things like food, having clothes prepped you know you just you just have to do it the night before really even two nights before sometimes like when i know i have a busy week hi ozzy okay he, he wants to be in the video um you know if i know i have a very busy week ahead i will prep food for like a week in advance and freeze meals because that's just what it takes you know i being so goal driven right now and having such specific goals to reach Physique wise, I have to eat right. Like this is the I'll see. This is the this is the main factor here. It's food, and obviously training. But like that, they're non negotiables. You know, training has to be done, and I have to train with intensity and intent, and I have to eat the foods that I'm supposed to be eating to fuel that training. So the take home of this video, if you want to be a bodybuilder and if you want to take it seriously obviously you don't have to be so extreme as a person that's just into fitness you know obviously having your meals prepped and stuff like that is really helpful to make sure you stay on track but if you're taking this sport seriously and you do want a career out of it a future in this sport you have to be willing to sacrifice certain things you're gonna have to sacrifice some free time you're gonna have to sacrifice going out or maybe even seeing some people doing certain things. Like, as you've seen, like I really don't have a lot of free time. Um, during the week, it's basically zero. The only time I really get to sit down is when I'm eating and that's not even all of my meals either. I get up, I get my things done, I go to work, I go to the gym, I come back home. And that's the day done. If I'm not going to the gym, I have other things to be doing like client check-ins, personal training in the gym, posing lessons. But I'm doing this because I want to be doing this. I truly love what I do. Um, and I have big goals in the future. And yeah, 
I really hope this was helpful to you guys. Um, I hope you got to know me a bit more and what my life really looks like behind the scenes. Not just pretty vlogs in Dublin or being on stage. So if you have made it this far in the video, please drop it a like, leave a comment, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any future videos. And I will see you in the next video, which will be very soon because I'll be filming it in the next two days. Um, I might give you a little hint. So keep in mind, I have been on prep for about five months of this year. And then before that, I was kind of transitioning into prep. And now I'm my off season. And there is something I haven't done in like a year. Bake a cake. And it is John's birthday, my boyfriend's. John's birthday on Tuesday, the 15th. Or is that Wednesday? I don't know. Tuesday. Tuesday. He says Tuesday, the 15th of November. And I also haven't really celebrated my birthday this year because I was on prep. So we've decided to join forces, join our birthdays, have an amazing weekend, which I'm not going to film because we really want to be enjoying it and you've seen my last off plan it's basically going to be the same thing we're just gonna go and eat um but i've decided to bake his favorite cake so that is going to go one of two ways um so stay tuned for the next video to see how i do i'm not going to tell you what the cake is guess leave a comment leave a comment and guess what cake i'm going to bake no one's gonna get it right no one's gonna get it right babe and i also ordered a cake just in case I ordered a massive cookie cake. Okay. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And I will see you in the next video. Ciao.